So essentially, if we were to if we look at the the Oxford vaccine, the um the most recent one that's been approved. In part of their clinical trial, they did look at extending the time between the two doses. And so whilst obviously initially it was four weeks, they also had a cohort, relatively small cohort, but a cohort of of, of people who were immunized at a much later um, interval, so somewhere between eight to 12 weeks. And they actually found that the immune response in those individuals was stronger than when it was done at a much earlier stage. Admittedly, though, we can't take too much from that because it was a smaller number of, of individuals that were in that trial. So it's difficult to extrapolate to say that for the whole population. But at least for the Oxford vaccine, we can relatively confidently say that we don't believe the extension to the 12 weeks will make any real difference. In fact, it may be that we in, in, induce a stronger immunity. And essentially precedence for that is if you look at other vaccines that, are, that we commonly have either through childhood or um, adolescence, where if we require a booster, that booster is taken many, many months, if not years after the primary um, um, immunization, so that, you know, extending this to 12 weeks shouldn't really have a huge impact and may even have a beneficial impact on the actual immune responses that you induce to give you protection against COVID. So that decision was made because at the moment we're going through, as everyone knows, an absolute tsunami of cases. And what we absolutely have to do is protect as many people as possible in as short as time as possible. And it turns out that both vaccines have very good efficacy after one dose. So if you look at the data and drill down into it for the Pfizer, in the period between the second and third week after the first vaccination, you get 90% protection against infection occurring. Now that 90% protection that is present after the one dose of the vaccine in that one week gap before they get the second dose would not have faded if they didn't receive the second dose. It would still be there and would fade slowly over a period of time. So that 90% level of protection suggests that actually there, that an individual given one dose of the vaccine will be protected for a, a reasonable period of time. Three months is, I think, what we, we, we feel that will be maintained for that period of time. And uh, that allows us to essentially double the number of people that we can protect in a, in a period of time, which is just, uh, I mean, the overwhelming need for the country is that. The, the second dose, think of that as really the booster that prolongs the duration of protection. So although the first dose will protect you for a good period of time, the, the actual prolonged duration of protection is almost certainly going to require a second dose. So we're not saying don't give the second dose. We're saying we can hang on a bit, vaccinate lots of people with the first dose, then come in with a second dose to make sure that their protection levels are maintained. And that is true for both the Pfizer and for the AstraZeneca vaccine. 